dust and wash ground this world What a magnificent girl With grace and elegance That is how to charm the audience Nobody else had a chance Three chairs to you, Cousin Jennifer The fairest of all That is what you are Charm and mannerism with poise And magnetism and stepping in style With that lovely smile Oh, how we love Cousin Jennifer We are all very proud of her She is the most beautiful, yes, the most wonderful The most beautiful girl in the world She So cute in her evening gown The whole audience was stunned This lovely green lady had Made history in London, England And leave them in confusion oh, Three chairs to you, Cousin Jennifer The fairest of all That is what you are I'm talking about charm And mannerism with poise And magnetism and Stepping in style with that lovely smile. I was selected by a panel of judges in Johannesburg. We had provincial finals first, and then um, we went up to Johannesburg for the final. Was this a competition open to whites and coloureds or whites only? Whites only. How were you selected, Pearl? Oh, well, the same place to me, as Julian has said now. But uh, this, the competition was organised by the South African Amateur Weightlifting and Bodybuilding Federation. And it was an open contest to everybody. But um, actually, none of the contests, no Europeans turned up. And uh, there were quite a few Indian girls and African girls and such as myself colored. Do you feel that you're representing the colored community of South Africa, or do you feel you're representing the whole country? Well, of course, the whole country. You don't feel that you're specifically representing only the whites? No, of course not. No. Although the competition in which you took part was restricted to whites only. That's right. Well, the way I feel, at least South Africa has two chances. And uh, if we could win that contest, well, we take all the honors back to South Africa. Yes, of That's course. That's what we have come down, they send us down for, to win that title, isn't it? Exactly. You know, in, you know. And if we could do what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure we're going to try our best.
finalists in the Miss World Beauty Contest, rigged out in their national costumes, were guests of the Variety Club of Great Britain. Here's 18-year-old Matez Galea from Malta. The girls all brought gifts from their respective countries to help the Variety Club's funds for children's charities. Any one of these beauties may become the next Miss World, but until the day of the final, they're all potential celebrities, and as such, they were welcomed to the luncheon at the Savoy, where they had the chance to meet stars like tough guy Stanley Baker. It would have been rather a drag trying to queen it over this sort of company, for once, he was playing Danny Boy. Anyway, jolly good luck to them all. Many feel that marriage as we know it must end if this kind of marketing is to cease. The difficulty is persuading working class women, and there's a labour force of more than nine million to be won over. As through smoke bombs and plastic mice at last year's Miss World contest. To them it was the height of oppression.
I suppose the only people who really worry about the result are the girls taking part, the promoters and the people giving the prizes. But every year, millions of us find ourselves watching the Miss World contest with a kind of fascinated disinterest. Politics, colour, religion or race have nothing to do with the world's biggest beauty show, we've always been assured, and certainly there are points in its favour as a spectacle and as entertainment. It's always pleasant to see a parade of pretty girls. The occasion's boosted with blurb and ballyhoo for weeks beforehand, but there's plenty of criticism too. This year, the contest has been rudely described as a cattle market. Some people just beef too much about cheesecake. There are the usual favorites and outsiders, but in the end, there can only be one winner, and this year, as her country's first representative in the competition, it's Miss Grenada. A crowning moment with Bob Hope for 22-year-old air hostess Jennifer Houston. But it's turned out a rather prickly crown, even though it will bring her some 40,000 pounds by the end of her reign. Don't worry, they'll probably argue about next year's winner, too. First of all, Jennifer, how are you feeling this morning? Very well, thank you. How much of a surprise was it to you that you won? Oh, I was very surprised. Um, naturally, I was hopeful. We all were. But it was such a great experience just being uh, the representative of Grenada for the very first time that I thought the experience in itself was quite a lot. Do you feel you've helped to put Grenada on the map? I'm sure I have. At least now people are saying, is it Grenada and not Granada? And how much of a difference is this going to make to your own personal life? Well, quite a difference, I think. Um, it's an excellent opportunity for travel, further travel. As you know, I'm an air hostess, and as such, I do get a chance to travel to one or two places. But I thought that to eventually get to all the places I ever wanted to go to, it might just take about five years. Now, who knows? I might just be able to do it in 12 months. Well, well, people. People. That's nice, that's nice. Yeah. Somebody talk to me. And into this one, please, Jennifer. Right up. Beautiful. And just round to this Jennifer. one, Jennifer. Jennifer. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not really, uh, except that uh, they seem to want equal rights. Is that right? Uh, I don't think women should ever attain complete equal rights. I wouldn't like to. I'd like still for a gentleman to hold my chair back for me and so on. But I think that women can contribute a lot, and as you know, they have to date. What do you hope to do in the next year? I'd like to travel a lot. Uh, I would also like to take a advantage of all the good things that may come my way as a result of winning this contest. And probably, uh, if, I see, if I have the ability uh, to try my luck at a little acting. Grenada is a very small island. How do you think it will affect the island? Oh, this is going to be, to them, as big as any, any of the biggest events that we had. As a matter of fact, I heard that there was dancing in the street last night, and I wasn't surprised. It will mean.